Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. Okay, so you may be wondering what's all the fuss about with this Raspberry Pi camera anyway. It's just a mobile phone camera, isn't it? Well, yes it is. If you look, sitting on top of this Nokia phone is one of the Raspberry Pi camera boards. It's brand new, just out of the box, still with its protective cover on. Well, what's so special about this camera then? The fact is you can connect it without using up any of the USB ports to a high-speed interface which is here via this ribbon cable and it's a high performance camera it uses the GPU on the Raspberry Pi which has 48 cores and is very powerful and fast and it actually means that the Raspberry Pi camera can record 1080p full high definition video so today is day two of uh, Pi Cam ownership and this morning I thought it'd be rather fun to make the Pi Cam into a standalone portable camcorder. So what I've done here is I've blue tacked the Pi Cam to this Yoctopus case that I bought last year. The nice thing about this case is it's open on all four sides which means it's easy for me to put wires and connections in and out. So on the other side I've got two additional devices in here this one and this one. Here is a voltage regulator that allows me to use this two cell lithium polymer battery which has a voltage of about 8.4 volts when fully charged the Pi needs 5 volts so that's obviously much too much for that so it needs a regulator in here a switching regulator which is about 85 percent efficient which enables the voltage from the battery to come down to something the Pi can use without getting fried the other additional thing I've got here is a Bluetooth serial interface which connects to the TX and RX UART ports here and 5 volts and ground which enables me to log in with a serial console um, directly from any Bluetooth enabled device such as a mobile phone or a tablet. I'm using my Nexus 7 tablet to do that and it means I don't need anything plugged into the Wi-Fi or don't even need there to be a Wi-Fi network. It makes it truly portable and truly mobile which is what you want in a battery powered camcorder really. The only thing it's missing is a screen. The best way for you to see what's so special about the Raspberry Pi camera is to actually have a look at some of the results. So that's what we're going to do now. So now I'm just going to hit the record button and I'm going to cross over the picture once it appears on the screen and I'm filming I'm outside, hi cross back over to get behind the camera for when it finishes just to prove I'm actually doing it okay this time I'm shooting from the same angle using this is on my main video camera I'm going to record the same exactly the same time and the same scene on the Pi camera and we'll show them one above the other so you can see them both at once there's not much action in this shot but you can see at the top that the 200 pound video camera copes a little better with the exposure than the 20 pound Raspberry Pi camera, but then at 10 times the cost you'd hope that would be the case, wouldn't you? So here's a quick little recap of the footage I shot yesterday from across the street. When the camera's still you can clearly see the number plate of the car opposite, which is about 25 to 30 yards away, which is actually pretty good resolution for such a small camera. If you'd like to subscribe to the Raspberry TV YouTube channel, when the video finishes click on the I and click subscribe. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.